Hey everybody, and welcome to Hexiled Gaming. I'm Scott and I've got a match of X-Wing, second edition for you here on Tabletop Simulator. This match between Kaspars on the left and Adam on the right. We are in the top 16 of the Wild Space Open, a tournament celebrating new ships and points and a new format here with open sideboards. Both of these players came into this match with their ships and pilots picked out, but no upgrades. And upon seeing their opponent's list, they, uh, they picked out their upgrades, and this is what they brought. Joining me, Maui, how you doing? I am great. Super excited about this match. I've been enjoying this tournament so far. I really like the sideboards. Should be a lot of fun. Absolutely. Now, the first thing I see is GA97 on Chewbacca. <laughs> is that... I, I know Chewy and the Pods is a list. Is mm -hmm. that the normal way this happens that finn comes in later um this is a throwback to those uh 2019 that 2019 world's five ship resistance list right right with, uh, with rose and finn and people shouting it's the resistance at the yeah. top of their lungs while finn drops in behind the enemy squad uh, it's a different take on it uh but i like it I enjoy it yeah because things some points have changed since then uh, a couple. There's been a couple adjustments, yeah. Um, are there any... Does it look like there's anything in this list that was built in accordance with what they saw from Caspars? Or is this basically the list? Um, I don't know if GA97 is the, the standard. And I assume that it is. Okay. Um... But yeah, I mean, everything looks pretty standard with the possible exception that C-3PO is not on Rose, it's on... Oh, it's on Vi, yeah. Vi instead. Um, who did we apply that to? We applied that looks to like... Jake. The yeah, Jake. Hmm. And I'll we also an have the fun interaction of uh, GA97 adds calculate to your action bar, doesn't it? Yes. Which means that uh, C-3PO can coordinate to Chewie from anywhere on the board, which is fun. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's a part we don't often see. While you coordinate, you can choose friendly ships beyond range two if they have calculate on their action bar. What's the other resistance crew that gets you a calculate? PZ4CO. Yes, okay. I think I've seen that interaction before. But hey, let's talk about this Rebel list. We've got Jake Wedge, two Rogue Squadron Escorts, Proton Torpedoes on the E-Wings. They went for turn one target locks with their exper experimental scanners, both on Chewbacca. Right. So that's, if if you have your choice, that is what you do, right? You, you take out Chewie. Um, he doesn't get... He does get to do his bonus attack and, uh, and action when he's destroyed, mm -hmm. right? Um, but he won't get to do that multiple times as you take out each of the pods if you kill him first. Correct. That's um, when you're up against a, a Chewy Falcon, if you want to, a Resistance Chewy Falcon. Um, if you can, you really want to take out Chewy first for that particular reason. Um, not always feasible, and these Proton Torpedoes should probably scare the heck out of these uh, four health agility pods with or without yeah. Chewie standing angrily behind them. Um, flexing. Do you, do you try to keep Chewie back? Because they've kind of given you... The E-Wings have told you exactly who they want to go for first, right? So do you try and engage first with the pods and, and get some distance between the pods and Chewie? Or do you try to rush um, in and get past? Well, the thing is, if, if the Rebels position themselves properly, Chewie needs to be out of the arc entirely, or else he's not shooting them. Mm. So, I'm, I mean, if Chewie stays way back and it's just the pods engaging, yeah, that's trouble. Then that's they're just point. killing your pods, and Chewie's, Chewie's doing, what, boosting in and then counterattacking? I don't know. It doesn't seem ideal to me. That would be fun, though, if you... You're out of range, one of the pods dies, and then you boost in to get a shot. That would, that would, that would be pretty cool. I don't know, man. I'm kind of into that. 
<laughs> All right, here's the road roll. We do have some overlaps, right? Uh, I-4 for Chewie and the entirety of the Rebel List. <laughs> <laughs> All of the pods are lower. All four pods. You gotta love it. So it looks like Caspar's rolled the eyeball on that one and will be player one. So Rebels. Rebel I-4 is moving and shooting before Chewy. BB-8. Little bump Is Finn dropping at the end of this round? Oh, how many charges we got? The start of the round, yeah. So at the end of at the end of this round, he'll recover his last charge, which means that Finn is dropping in at the start of the next round. So we got to think: where do you want to put him? And don't say the trash can. <laughs> um. Well, we're doing a pretty good job of not exposing any. Uh, any way for him to drop in behind the Rebel Mist here. I don't think there's a spot for him. I think there's a good, there's not really a good flanking spot for him. And if he drops in, um, like in the bottom middle of the board here, mm -hmm. which is probably the closest he can get to the, to the list, uh, he is behind everybody, but he's also on his own and they can turn at him pretty quickly. Oh, yep. And here's so, the... Yeah. Range three bubble, and Finn's going in the middle of the board. But at least Wedge and the green E-wing, they don't seem like they're going to be turning in towards Finn. Maybe Finn f has Jake and that Rogue Squadron escort split off from the rest, and that's good for you, maybe? Yeah, I, if he can survive the onslaught. So that I... Um... <laughs> that's yeah, that's the thing. If if Jake and the Rogue turn on him, he could be eating a double modded proton torpedo, which you know he's got some green dice, but not really what you want to do. And the pods are not especially fast, which means that the others are not going to be um, in range on this turn. I don't think mm -hmm. it'd be tough to get the other ships in range to support him. So you can get like a 1v2, which I don't think is ideal. All right. Well, he is down. He's at that 45 degree angle. These are all. If he can survive long enough for the support to get there. Yeah. That'll be good. Did he place in a way that his one bank and the E-Wings one hard would not? No, that would be in range, right? I think he's expecting the Rebels to flee up the board edge, which is why he's positioned himself the way that he has, so he can go straight between those clouds. I like it. Let's take a look at the dial for these. Oh boy, your three banks are red. Um, hmm. Double eyeball, so player one going to go over to Adam. Vi banks in, double calculates via C-3PO, BB-8. Just a, Man, they're not moving real fast. They are not looking to help Finn out anytime soon. You know what? This is per cop Finn, so he, he could do okay versus two shots. He could... But that, uh, I mean, a proton torpedo could overwhelm those. It's single minded. Come on. No, it's not with Jake there. Oh, you're right. I forgot how rebels work. <laughs> it's early in the morning yet. I gotta get warmed up. Um, yeah, I mean, there there could be like some advantage there, especially if he survives. Um, 
but even if he doesn't, eating a couple of proton torpedoes means that there's less for taking out uh, Chewie <laughs> later on. Take the proton torpedo so that Chewie doesn't have to. That's the plan. I mean, <laughs> if you think that Finn can tank him with his two and a fraction <laughs> defense dice. Okay. Yeah, Jake's turning in. Yeah. Here we go, and he's gonna. Did he? Ooh, if he boosts, maybe he doesn't. Path, yeah. He's not leaving a lot of room for the E-wing. Oh, he's gonna boost. Ooh, but this is... Oh, maybe he's not gonna be double modded. Yeah. You can either go out there and be without a focus. Will he be in range one of the E-wing if he boosts? I don't think so. Maybe if he boosts to the right. Maybe. Let's... Oof. Oof. He's ionized himself. So oh, he just... did get it. Ooh, okay. And with that, I want to note, Kaspars was our top player in Swiss. Um, he was one of two undefeated players. He and Johan. It's very nice. We're going to get a roll and probably a lock oh, here. Oh, wow. They can link that to a lock, right? Yeah. Go Not in range one, so the lock wins. works. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, I think Tabby reminded me one of the players dropped. Oh, that's right. Uh, Trey was 4 0 as well. Couldn't, couldn't join us for the top 16, unfortunately. So there we go. Jake going to start us off. Does not force Finn to spend anything. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, I still think you hit him with the proton torpedo. You deny the green die. Um, it's double modded, so you've got a good, you've got a pretty solid chance of doing damage, even with. Dice from Finn. And Finn is the only thing on the board that's really scary besides uh, Chewy. Oh, he's going to take one. Yep. I mean, that's. If you are the resistance player, that is a dream, right? You've. Th these E Wings can't reload, mm -hmm. so you've got one of those torps off the board and took a shield. Yep. And you may even slap Jake right here. You might. And then next turn, Finn's going to bug out. So I think, yeah, he only rolled the one die, so he's just going to roll them. And there we go. But he's going to have to take another... Oh, he's not going to strain. Yeah. And it wouldn't have gone... Doesn't want that okay. double strain. Doesn't want that kind of heat, huh? Yeah. Wow. Finn, uh, I mean, I guess... You know what? This is a 47-point Finn. You made the investment. Yep. Kirk Cop, Heroic, Optics. That's a big, thick Finn. And he and I think shrugged off that torque. Probably bugging out here. I've been bugging out for a pod is like a three straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you can't get real close to the E-wing. Uh, one bank no. barrel roll. And the best you can hope for is, is to trade shots with the E-wing, which you still don't really want to be doing with Finn at range one. Oh man, I don't love the position for the other pods either because they're not in a great position to go down towards 
Jake and Blue. It, you could. Ugh. Pods are so slow. Like, <laughs> Rose and Vi could go up towards Wedge mm -hmm. and the green E Wing, but then BB 8 can't help. So it's like there's not a single yeah. direction that you can all go. Yeah, he's done a good job of splitting up resistance here although he is also split up but i think it's it's to the uh rubble player's advantage here because he can he he can do an easier job of converging his forces into one target oh and your three banks red like even if you wanted yeah. ride a three <laughs> bank towards jake and blue it's gonna suck <clears throat> you s and you're the coordinator i was gonna say coordinate a you know, a mod to that ship, but you're the coordinator! It's you! Yeah. And she has to move for Finn. Finn's got per cop, right? Not, uh... Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Did Finn roll all eyeballs on that? I was just thinking about it. <laughs> he did on the defense. on the attack and the on the attack oh. and the second defense. He didn't do it on the first. So Gorsal asking about what these pods do. So Vi gives out a condition called uh, compromising intel. So that is on Jake during the system phase. If Vi Marati is at range zero to three, you got to flip your dial face up. And while you defend or perform an attack against Vi, you cannot spend focus tokens. Oh, we saw BB-8 do his thing. Oh, and BB-8, yep, like you just saw. Uh, during the system phase, you may perform a red barrel roll or boost. Well, there's the, what was that, a boost? Yep, straight boost. One bank from Chu. Was that a boost? Yeah. A coordinated okay, boost. Gotcha. Okay, Adam. All right. Okay, Finn is coming in. A roll left. Uh, maybe you could block a two bank I, too I, hard. Um, the E wing has a one straight. The E wing has every basic maneuver on its dial. It has a blue mm -hmm. one. That, but, one straight is blue, right? It is with it, our four. It is certainly. with our four, yeah. It's de it's blue normally. Now it's like green. It's super blue. It went back to first edition. <laughs> it went it's so back good. to first edition. It's green now. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's tough. And without yeah. mods there, trading range one, I'd... Uh, ooh. Hmm. Just don't get shot. It's really, really got to hope that... The Ewing went fast here. I guess Wedge was a little nervous about those pods turning towards him, so he goes for a flank, which might actually work out for the resistance. Uh, Jake does not bump. But he is... He's close. He's in almost every arc. <laughs> and Chewie hasn't moved yet. But with that stress, I mean, you're, you're two banking, probably. Yeah, almost, almost certainly doing a two bank here. Ooh, and he Ooh. did the one bank. But Finn, I think Finn did successfully dodge that arc. <laughs> He's not going to be doing anything this round, but living is pretty good. Yeah. Uh, he, he rolled the dice that the Ewing was doing anything besides a one straight, and he got it right. And Ewing here we moves. go. We're looking to put some fire into that. Um, Falcon. Yeah. yeah. Single modded. Oh boy. Here comes the green Ewing. Would a boost from green get you arc? after the two bank from Chewy. I think he already boosted. Green did? Oh. Yeah. Yep. 
He just five straight and a boost. So he's deciding on whether or not he's going to move his target lock. Boy, with R4, I've seen these E-Wings use their linked action more than ever before. Yeah. I mean, the a downside. lot of people poo-poo it because it's not the most, they're not, it's not the most efficient possible layout of actions, but they have good action economy. Like, E-Wings are not, do not have terrible action economy. They just don't have good eyeball mod economy. Now, the problem here would be that now you can't get the Jake focus, but you're all four, so you could just activate first, potentially. Mm -hmm. There's the two bank. Yeah. Uh-oh. So now I think... Um, that was some pretty good maneuvering from the resistance there, all things considered. Um, and they've got four arcs on this blue E-Wing that doesn't have any mods. So the potential to do some real damage here. Um, all right, first shot. And the Wedge, Rebels are range splitting three. fire. Yeah. Into Rose. Now, Rose is the only ship in the attack arc. And she doesn't count for this, is that right? Correct. Okay. One hit, one evade. Well, you don't need your rerolls. Other ships, yeah. All right, this E Wing moved its lock over to Vi. Oh, don't kill Vi. I want to see Vi's <laughs> compromising <laughs> intel work once before dial peaking is disallowed or something. Yeah. Uh, hit it, crit. Okay. Calm down. Calm. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Vi. Come on, Vi. No, 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 no. All right. All right, Chewie. <laughs> I just feel bad at this point. Or Vi. Didn't even get to shoot. I... It, that is my favorite pod, Vi, <laughs> and I never get to see it do anything. No, it, an initiative one pod that doesn't have any dice mods. Like, I mean, it has a d dice mod denial. Although that ship wouldn't have, e it wouldn't have even hurt that ship because it doesn't have focus to spend. So we are going to get a lock from Chewy, I think. Yeah, you know what. This list is designed for pods to die so that Chewie yep. can get great shots, and it's, it's going to happen. That's what it's there for. Bye, Marathi, and more like, bye, Marathi. Am I no. right? Nope. nope. Sorry, no, I couldn't not. help myself. It was there. I'm and where's sorry. the mute button? <laughs> where's the bam button? <laughs> Here's the shot. He did indeed take that target lock and won't need it. And, well, maybe his normal attack. Ooh! Two shields on blue. Two shields on blue. That was Vi traded for two shields on an E-Wing. There is more firing coming. Some serious work can be done into that blue E-Wing. Maybe we're in a decent shape. This blue Ewing does have a target lock on Chewie. We'll see another Proton Torp. The final Proton Torp from that blue Ewing. Daniel, I like yours better. Vianara. Oof. That's good. <laughs> that's pretty good. It's not a competition, but Daniel wins. Hey, hit it, crit. <laughs> yeah. Shields down. Cody, there's no your your match is already done. How long? It's 24 minutes. <laughs> Even Chewie can perform only one bonus attack each round. That's correct. Chewie, so his normal shot here with the target lock. Hit a crit. Wow. T 
takes one. That's half points. Okay. That actually puts the resistance in the lead here because those are proton torpedo E-wings. Oh, good point. Here's Rose Tico, hit crit. Double natural evades. Oh boy. Two dice uh, attacks versus three dice defense. Oh, cranky BB-8 right there. Hit crit. Or like BB-8 oh. puts a crit through. It is a direct hit. Oh. Down to one. Right. Back two dials. Well, All now, right. At this point, I got to say, I still like the Rebels' position. I think that was a, a, a decent positioning round for the Resistance, but I still like the Rebels' position overall. Um, in particular, because Finn is out of the fight right now. Yeah. Finn did a good job of protecting himself, but he won't be contributing for a little while. Yeah, so he got one shot, which I don't think did anything. Nope. He took one shield. He he ate a proton torpedo and took a shield. He got one shot, which didn't do anything. And now he's out of the fight. He was out of the fight that turn. Um, and he will be out of the fight for the next at least one turn, maybe two. Yeah, let's take a look. It's it's one and two forward, one banks for your blues. Yeah. Would you take the chance and two hard? Maybe. <sighs> like, so where does the two, does the two hard put you on that cloud in a, in a position where you wouldn't get a mod the following turn? Because Finn wants his eyeball mods. Yeah. Could a one bank... Oh my god, Vi had the C3PO. I'm like, I'm trying to plan around the coordinate and it's gone. Yeah, the coordinate's not there. <sighs> I had so many great plans for Vi. <laughs> At any rate, she's initiative one and can't coordinate to a stressed fin anyway. Oh, you're right, you're right. Yeah, would it be better for C3PO to be on Rose? Maybe. Maybe he was trying to, like, even out the points. Uh, a little bit of that. And also, if you're trying to keep Vi alive, because she's a pretty vulnerable pod, have, giving her the double calculate option to try and keep her alive under sustained fire mm -hmm. is a good thing. Um, I think I would probably still have C-3PO on Rose, because she's harder to kill, but... Um, I can't blame him for trying to even out the points and trying to keep his compromising intel alive for as long as possible. The compromising intel only works on the one, the mod denial only works on that one ship, right? Can't spend focus tokens. But only if you're attacking by Marathi. Alright, about to have the road roll. I don't think, I mean... I don't think Jake and the Ewing are going to get out there and block Chewbacca, but maybe? Crit takes it. So that will be, yeah, Caspar's is player one again. Ooh, BB-8. Oh, that's on the... There, there was a blue one. I think he just hit the wrong Yeah, there silhouette. was, but <laughs> you, you got to look before you determine. Okay, it's, it's easy to, <laughs> easy to misclick on that. One straight from Finn. Do you have like a jam? He does have a jam, but they're all red is the issue. Yeah. Everything is red except for the uh, focus or calculate in BB-8's case. Okay, a little kill box here. Gaspar's is moving first block. with Jake. And... Set up the... Jake's going to have trouble evading that one, unless he's going super fast. He is on stress, so I think a three bank would probably take him past that. That's what he did. Well, there's a three bank from Wedge. 
Focus boost. Focus boost. Ooh, yep. Yeah. Got the block. One bank from the E-Wing. Would a boost block? Yeah. Goes for it. Unless he did a hard turn. But even then it might. Actually. Yeah. Blocks just about anything that Chewie could do. Who is that better for? Because Chewie's not taking a shot from the E-Wing. But the E-Wing is not taking a shot from Chewie. Uh, it depends, I think, on this. And, ooh, Chewie's eating that proton torpedo. Single modded? It could be a sad one. Could be. Three already. <laughs> this fourth is basically just icing on the cake. That's fine. Hit it, crit. Hit crit. Three. More points. It is a stun pilot. Ooh, you can't fix that. Eh, don't go over obstacles. Big deal. All right, Jake into Chewy. Looking for some natties. One hit. Chewie takes it. Down to four. Resistance is being forced to split their fire here. You shoot through the debris into Chewie? Thank you. Ooh, good question. That would be a 2v2. It's going to be a 2v2 into Rose, but Rose gets re-rolls, right? Yeah, I just shoot Chewie. It's 2v2 no matter what, and Chewie is your primary. Oh. Chewie, he doesn't have any mods. Uh, sorry, it would be 2v1. I'm forgetting Wedge's ability. So 2v1 right, into right, right. Rose. Yeah, but I still think you shoot Chewie. He's, he's the one that you want off the board ASAP. Be two hits. Two Natty Evades! Oh, should have shot someone else. I know he shouldn't have, in my opinion. <laughs> Just for the All record. Right. I guess you could get two shots into an unmodded uh, Jake here. Jake, which is yeah. Probably about the best that you can do. All things considered. One hit. One evade. Rose, three dice range one. That's a reroll. Doesn't need it. Mm, okay. Hey, half points. There you go. So that's going to narrow the lead to 16. Cast bars up 66 to 50. All right. So I think I think that um, as long as Finn is in not in the fight with mods. The Rebels have a pretty good advantage for as long as they can press it. We'll see how much damage they can do while Finn is getting himself reoriented. Uh, also, all Proton Torpedoes are gone. They are all spent. Ooh. They are all spent, but Chewie is on, what, four? Yeah. Yeah, Chewie's on four. All of the uh, Rebel ships are still on the table, and they all still get to shoot no matter what, even if, they, even if Chewie manages to, for example kill the rogue squadron uh, escort with the first shot of the round. So, question in the chat about compromising intel. Does it stay on the ship for the whole game? Uh, it the same ship, does, yeah. So, yeah. Is there anything besides hunted that moves around after our ship is destroyed? Um, I don't think so. There's nothing that instructs you to remove compromising intel if the ship is destroyed, but it, not that there's no trigger for it if my is dead. I guess I'm, I'm thinking of conditions that move when the ship is destroyed. So, like, yeah. if Jake was dead, you don't get to move it to a new ship. You don't get to move it to a new ship. But um, I think the question is about Vi being dead and removing the compromising intel thing. 
Um, technically, it stays on, I think, but there's no way to trigger it because eyes not on the table. I choose to believe that they're asking it doesn't, it doesn't mean, kill the ship with mean. compromising intel. Can you put it on a new ship? And no, the answer is no to all the questions, basically. Um, it's a big fat blanket. You can't do that. Yeah, as far as I know, the only the only condition that does that is hunted with that Imperial guy from Rebels. Callus. Callus, yeah. Kylos doesn't move around if Kylo dies, but it can also still trigger after Kylo is dead, which is, I think, unique. You can have that zombie dark side situation. Mm-hmm. Thirty-eight minutes left in the game. Uh, road roll. Yeah, it could matter here if Chewie does a short maneuver and just bumps into blue. I mean, that that blue E-wing's gonna K-turn, right? Yeah, yeah. And I think Finn has to K-turn too. That's probably the the easiest way to get him back into the fight. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the. That's got to be the resistance's goal right now, is to get Finn back into the fight as quickly as possible. But then what do the other pods do? That's, a, <laughs> that's another yeah, really good question. Uh... Are they also going to K-turn? Are they going to get in Chewie's way? I was going to say coordinate him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can try and... What is Jake going to do? Because I was wondering um, if there's any way for BB-8 was... to block Jake. I don't, I don't know. I think Jake is probably going to try to get a focus token to the E-Wing before it K-turns. Um, and I don't know if BB-8 can block that. The crit will take it. Adam is now player one. Oh, Jake wants to give Blue a focus. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was I saying. Just didn't say it very well. He turns, K turns. Ooh. Two straight from Chewy Focus slides from Chewie. on past. Means that if Blue does the cater him, he's not getting shot. And here's Jake giving Blue that focus. I think you can roll there, give yourself a focus, and then boost, but then you're kind of stuck the next turn. Oh, Jake's just going to hang out without a token. All right, Jake. Here comes Wedge. Oh, boy. Wedge is getting in there. Two bank in Trying to green. cycle some targets, I guess, with uh, Wedge and... Oh, sorry, with Jake and Blue being low on health. Here, shoot my other ships. Yep, going into Wedge. Four dice with a focus. Spend it for three. Wedge. If he spins the focus, he stays above half. Yeah. I think you Takes got one. I've, I've done the thing where you save the focus token on a free agility ship. I, it's not it's not a good idea. You spend it when you can. If you're going to spend it defensively, then spend it when you can. Here's the E-Wing. 
two hits. Going through. Oof. All right. Inch one with marksmanship here. No green dice for Chewy. He's on two. One crit. Oh, Don't be a it. direct no hit. Damaged engine. Damaged engine. So now he has to shoot him with green as well, or else don't, I guess. <laughs> okay. Well put. <laughs> 3v1. Uh, Ewing's got to focus. So if you kill Chewie, he's going to take a target lock, probably on wedge, and then shoot him at range one. Oh. If you spend the focus, it's guaranteed. And look, you, you know Chewie's not shooting yeah. the green Ewing. No, you're not wrong, but there's still two un oh. granted unmodded pods, but there are still two of them sitting right there. Let's see what trust the your is. three green dice, I guess. Panicked! Oh no! Wait. Oh, he can't. Oh! He, he can't target lock! He can rotate, and that's it. Oh, oh. that's useless. <laughs> oh no! That one in Sensor Array were like the two that he just could, like even a weapons failure would have been better. Oh man, that's brutal. All right, All you Chewy, can do now. just roll natties, baby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, all you can do is, you can rotate, I guess, if you want to, and shoot into, I think you shoot wedge here. Yeah, Personally. take a 4v3 instead I of a 3 the, the four dice into wedge, and then hope you can finish something off with the two pods. It's real tempting to rotate the arc here because you can. It's so hard to pass up an action opportunity and just do nothing. Oh, man. He is going to do He's it. He's going to do it. He's going to rotate oh. the arc and, and shoot probably blue. Thank you, G and Bob, for your uh, six months sub. Very much appreciated. Is this range three? It's so much worse. Yeah. yeah, you're giving up a giving up a red and giving your opponent a green. Hey, if it works, more power to him. Yeah, I mean maybe he kills blue it, here with Chewy and the pods it is, kill yeah. wedge. You got it. You gotta take ships off the board at this point, especially now that you've led your big hitter two hits. He oh, does it! it! He did that it! Wrong. I was wrong. Adam was right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Pods. You finish off Wedge, and then we got a game. Especially with Finn barreling in here. Well, these Pods are completely unmodded, shooting with two dice into three, unless Rose happens to be at range one of Wedge. Yep, here we go, 2v3. Oh, you could also shoot Jake here, and Jake is closer to dead. But you're not going to get the bottom up from Rose. Good call shooting into Wedge. Spaghetti. No re-rolls on this one. Rose Tico. One hit. Well, you can't kill him. But you can get half. Oh yeah, did BB-8 get the uh, calculate for ATP from missing Wedge? Uh, good question. Is that a May? Judge? No, it is not. Well, I'm looking at the card right now. I'm mainly saying, oh, do you want to go in there and add the calculate, or? Uh, I'm always I'm always on the fence about that, you know. Okay. It's the player's trigger, even though it's mandatory. I don't know. 
I don't know. Just, just this is what goes on in the mind of judges all the time. Basically. All right. Ooh, well, I'm gonna. I'm not sure. I think yeah. I think it's a. I think you're right. It's a. It's a mandatory trigger, so we probably shouldn't skip it, even if you forgot it. All right. <clears throat> I just I always it. feel bad when that works to somebody's when they forget something that's to their advantage. Yeah. And yeah. Well, hey. Oh, you're right. It's a mandatory trigger, so we can't skip it. Oh, I never took the shield off. Wedge? Is that what happened? Uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that score. <laughs> Resistance 90... in the lead. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Resistance is in the lead with Finn. Getting his guns back into the fight. All the Protorps are gone. Well, you can just get range one and get your own Protorp. Yeah. Well, the other thing is all of these... Ooh. Um, all, all of these Rebel ships that are left are all aces right now, basically, that have high, high initiative repositioning. Um... Possibly with extra actions. But look, man, Finn this could is be back really in the tough fight for Finn. Getting shot range one from Wedge. Oh, I think he's gonna like that, especially if he can't shoot back. Focus boost. Yeah. Wedge only makes Finn stronger. How is that possible? Because you can roll the one blank and add another blank, but I think Finn really wants to. Um, if he's going to be taking three dice, he really wants to be able to get that third ring. He wants to have that option available. Going for the lock, and chat's already seeing it. Take the lock, and then nope. Jake can give you the focus boost. Oh. Oh. Nope. Oh, well, it depends on what Jake's doing. Oh, I'm assuming yeah. that well, I'm assuming that Jake is doing that one hard. So what should be... Oh, he oh so Green could boost in here and dodge BB-8's arc, but then he wouldn't be able to get any kind of a mod. I think, I think he just focused there. Your, your full health healing. Yeah, I ain't afraid of BB-8. <laughs> Three unmodded reds. He'll have the calculate from ATP. Sorry, you're right. Ooh. Yeah, he's seeing. Ooh, if I just not stress wedge. This is why I would have preferred the E-Wings linked actions to be in the order of lock into reposition. Um, that would make them a lot stronger. And they're already incredibly strong. So Yeah, I, I, I like things like Fang Fighters where you you don't get the mod until you successfully complete your reposition. Because I don't like the idea of yeah. taking the mod and then, oh, if I make the reposition, great. If I don't, whatever, I still have it. Yeah. I'm always preferred that ships have clearly defined roles and weaknesses, which is why I actually like the way that the E-Wing is designed. Not because it's bad. I don't think the E-Wing is bad at all. I think it's a pretty good ship. Um, but if it had, if you could lock and then boost with an E-Wing, I mean, that'd be kind of busted, right? Like they're Probably. already three red, three green, three hull, three shields. You can already get locks from anywhere on the board, and now you want them to be able to lock at range two and then boost into range one. Like that's that's a lot, man. Uh, it starts to get hits. into like defender level. It feels bad. <clears throat> here's the blank into heroic, like you were talking about earlier. Oh, and the double eyeballs. I 
half points. So Interceptor should be a red action after a reposition. The, what? Um, interceptors uh, are, are not nearly as tanky as E-Wings are. Yeah, that's not a universal, because like B-Wings as well, right? They have that action with the Interceptor. Yeah. Same thing with A-Wings. You're flying on a knife's edge with those things. E-wings can take a shot or two. Here's three hits. Oh boy, we said we said we weren't worried about the BB-8 shot, and it gets half points on the green E-wing. Oh, my oh God. no! <laughs> and here comes Finn to pile it yeah, on. That's, that's the streamer curse right there. I'm blaming you for that one. For somebody to add it in the chat. I'm not going to do it. Oh! No Hip! Finn, with no mods, puts another damage through. Triple blanks from the E-Wing. It's the resistance. Did, did anybody yell it's the resistance when Finn dropped down? I didn't hear it. You know, I think it was an internal scream. <laughs> All right. 22 minutes left. 133 to 123. This has been this an incredibly... still in the lead. <laughs> yeah. And it's been close points-wise for a while. What I a close game. That, I, I can't help but feel that the, the Rebels still have a stronger position. Mm -hmm. Pods having to turn around. What have you. Um, much better ability to position themselves on the board and the moving last. Man, these pods are just hanging in there. They sure are, and they're being real rude. That ATP range one shot, it worked. Rose Tico, turn around. ATP, is it the new heroic? Is it the new feels bad one point upgrade? N no, come on. <laughs> oh, did BB-8 lose a shield? <laughs> bad. Thank you. Yeah, you have to take like the whole ship design into question, I think. And the E-Wings have so many capabilities. They can do so many things. I think maybe giving them that uh, lock into reposition action order would have been just a little bit too much. Just a hair. Jake. Looking to give someone a focus ends up being himself. Now you're closer. And he could give that to Wedge, who can try to boost around the corner and get a cheeky shot. Oh no, he's going to give it to. Oh, that sloop was so close. That's oh, nice maneuvering. Nice maneuvering is going to get a couple of nice shots into. Uh, in here, but it has been so. Two hits. <laughs> oh, he's going to be strained for that. Was he already strained? Is that him strained? Oh boy. Hit crit crit. Hmm? Add another. It's going to add the strain back. But that's still a crit into Finn. There's only. Oh, no, it's a blinded. Uh -oh. oh no. Uh oh. <laughs> he doesn't have a shot this turn anyway. No, but he really wants his eyeball mods and he's got to spend it. there's no more coordinates left so he's got to spend a turn clearing that before he can use his ability on offense again bb8 
oh, he can't even use his ability on offense. Like, he, he couldn't roll two red blanks and then add a third one for heroic or something. Gonna go into Jake. They're both three dice defenses, yeah. four at range three. They both have focuses. Jake's on two holes. So I would shoot at I would shoot at the green one. I would shoot at the rogue. No shot for Rose. Not a great round. Rose has. Mm. Uh, not a great round for resistance, but they're still in the lead by ten. No, how those, long can those it last? Those rounds where the pods have to turn around are going to be rough. But now you can just one forward green. You can, and Wedge is going to get the flank though. Yeah, I was just—I was wondering if there's any way for Finn to try and get the block on Green, but Green can self bump into Jake at I four, or you can move Jake out of the way and do a one forward. And yeah, Wedge is coming in swiggity swooty. Now we've been in this yeah. position where we said, "Look at the superior position from the Rebels. Surely they have this," and yet Resistance is leading. <laughs> Resistance continues to lead. <laughs> Can we talk about it's, these, it like... Has... Go ahead. <laughs> it's, it, no, it, is, it has felt like Rebels have just been uh, crushing their goals this game. Like, with that pincer position in the beginning, yeah. um, forcing Finn out of the fight for several rounds, getting Chewbacca off the board pretty early, and somehow they're still, <laughs> they're still behind these pods, just won't go away. Little scrappy pods that could. Oh, that looks we like talk a about those... perfect position for Wedge. Oh, yeah. Those unlikely shots from the Resistance. The range 3 shot from Chewie that killed the E-Wing. The, the range 1 BB-8 shot with just the calculate from ATP getting half points mm -hmm. on green. Unlikely, but it worked. Doing thin things of just tanking shot after shot after shot. He's, he's on one hole with a blinded pilot, but... Yeah. Boy, I, we saw Vi die to a single shot. A single, single bodied shot. Whereas uh, Finn's over here just still chugging. Jake, nobody to give focus to. Everything is stressed. Yeah, I think he could probably just. Oh, you know, he wants to take a, a mod. The one straight from green, yeah. It's pretty good. He takes He's an evade. Look at him! He shook! <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm shooting first. Good decision there, I think. Range one wedge into Rose. Rose is the only undamaged jump. Hit crit. Comes crit crit with marksmanship. Rose, one dice. There you go, half points. Loose stabilizer. And that's going to put Caspars in the lead by four. For now. <laughs> For now. <laughs> like All right. What do you, you do here? You try to. You I would try shoot to BB 8. Four dice? <laughs> I think, I think uh, you got to shoot. As well. I'm not gonna Without waste another shot on Finn. You need you need all four kits with no mods to be sure of doing anything to Finn. <laughs> and you can initiative kill BB-8 before it kills the green E-wing potentially. Oh no! Or... Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> BB-8 does give up half points, but shows you that. He was, ad he was receptive to your advances. He double blanked. He would have let anything through. Doors open. Come on in. 
All right. We're going to get two shots on this E-Wing. I guess I was killing Finn practically. It basically ends the game for all intents and purposes. Um, Rose with her sort of, rerolls. But it's also the, like, oh, but you forced the evade finish. spin! How much left? Two? Oh my god, BB-8. Oh, I don't know. If I, I will... BB-8, 3v3. BB-8, BB-8! Hit it, crit! Oh! A direct hit would kill the ship? It is a damage sensor array. Oh, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Great. Evade there for the E-Wing, but... Oh, man. BB-8. <laughs> Caspars now leading by 17. Finn is still with oh, us. Oh man, everybody is just hanging on. Look at this. <laughs> Look at all, all the ships on one or two hull. <laughs> both, both teams have five hull left across three ships. <laughs> yeah, wow, this is... And no one with more than two. Did not expect the, the the pods to be so resilient. I mean, Finn for sure. But you know that you know where Rose has to wind up. The question is where BB-8 and Finn are going to go, where the arcs are going to be pointed. Who is going to have mods? Um. I think the Rebels can probably put together a pretty good round here without much danger. <laughs> Mike, we keep Oops. saying this. We keep talking well, we'll about the superior I mean, Rebel position. The pods, the, the pods have been surprising me. Um, they've gotten into positions that I didn't really think that the pods would be able to do. Like, I'm thinking about BB-8 maybe rolling to the right here and then mm -hmm. taking the one bank to the left, kind of sliding in towards where it is now. Oh, people asking about the hard turn from Wedge. Does it go over the cloud? Maybe. That's a good point. The perspective that I had, I forgot that he was stressed. He boosted in there for that range one shot. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. One straight from Finn, double focus. He's he's tanking. And I think that, that blocks the 4K. Maybe it's just going to do the turnaround. Can green fit a sloop here? Ooh, too hard. Does it not hit the cloud. The Does hit the wow. cloud. Oh, yeah. Those two turns. Though. Those turn templates, they get out of the way in a hurry. <laughs> Ooh! Jousting one gold, the one hull E wing. Here comes Jake. We can get a uh, modded Jake in here. Oh, Is yeah. Is he close uh, enough to get Wedge uh, focus? Did Rose fix her? Oh, yeah, she did fix her stabilizer. Nope. No, it's not close enough. <laughs> what would the world look like if you trade Rose for green? Rose gives up 14 and you get 33 points. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, no. Does, does she have rerolls? No, she does not. It doesn't. I mean, she's on two hull and two go through no matter oh, what. Oh, she is on two hull. Yeah. Oof. You know what? That's right. Paul in the chat. That those are the nads. You took natties into saddies. Got kicked right in the nads. Wedge into Finn. Could he finish him off? Hit crit. Here comes crit crit with marksmanship. 
strain, add the focus. Jake? That's range two. But man, that, that is Finn. So hard. It's so hard to do anything to Finn with a two dice shot. It's focused. Oh, oh, oh. Needs a blank in this reroll. In that heroic reroll. There's the blank. Ooh. That's it, right? On Finn? That's a dead Finn. Whew, and that's a lot of points. And just, just to underline it. It was a direct hit. <laughs> All right, BB-8. Come on, BB-8. You've done a lot of impressive things this game. <laughs> Put the spent, nail in the coffin. He spent the calculate last turn. Or he used the calculate from ATP last turn. This is a naked shot. Oh, there's where it could have been. Oh, it's still... No, there's a focus. No, it wouldn't have gone through. It would not have gone through regardless. All right. So the resistance really felt like they were hanging on by a thread, even though they had the lead for most of the game. Uh, and now, starting to kind of feel like that thread has snapped. Oh, absolutely. But I believe in BB-8. Um, can't do any shenanigans this round with the stress. But let's see if he can get lucky. Well, there's one thing. Uh, it does have the calculate on ATP. Ooh, oh, he gets the block, though. I wonder if that was strategic. Wedge just is not going to engage. Oh, green's out of there. Okay, Jake. Uh, Can you roll the Jake right? here? Yeah. What's BB? BB8's on two. Here's a 3v2. Jake's got a mod. Spend it for hit crit. Looking for natties. Just one evade. That's all you need. Take the crit. Be a stunned pilot. It's a direct Or. <laughs> oh, or. No. <laughs> GG. We get a lot of crits over here on this resistance side. Not a whole lot of direct hits until that one was pulled on Finn. So I kind of felt like there were a bunch of them still left in the deck. Wow. Congratulations. Two Kaspars. He and the Rebels advance on in the cut thank you very much adam what an exciting game to start the day an incredible battle there for the pods uh thank you mike for being here my pleasure and thanks everybody for watching that'll do it for this match till next time this is scott from hexeld gaming signing off